In this video, we're going to give you a basic overview of the workings of a Black Forest dumpling eater. And the two clocks we have as examples today, the clock on the left is a dumpling eater made in the Black Forest at about 1870. The clock on the right uh, is turned around backwards with the backs removed on both the figure and the movement. Also made about 1870, uh, but is of a unique variation. We call it a rat eater. Uh, he eats rats instead of dumplings. Their inner workings are identical, so we're just going to use these two pieces, one facing forward, one facing backwards, uh, just as a little overview of how they work. So how do they work? You could see on the back of the movement there is a large wooden spool and in that spool a cord is tautly ran around the spool through a hollow cavity in the top of the case through the dumpling eater figure who is also wood carved and hollow and around another smaller spool that is inside uh, the figure's chest cavity. And as the spool on the back of the movement makes one revolution, the cord turns and rotates the smaller spool three times. And that spool inside the cavity of the figure is uh, really the controlling force of the automaton. That spool is pinned in the correct intervals that control the mouth, opens and closes the mouth, controls the eyes so the eyes drop down and look at the item on the end of the fork. And the dumpling itself, you can see there's a wire that extends right off of the spool. And on the end of that spool, the item is firmly attached. If we switch over to this example here, you can see the dumpling is attached on that wire and it actually runs from behind the plate all the way up the chest through the side of the mouth. So as that spool rotates, you can see the dumpling circles through the bottom of the plate, up the chest, it lifts the fork to the mouth, releases the fork at the correct time, the mouth opens to accept the treat, the eyes drop, and then it cycles through and the process repeats itself. So it's a quite simple automation using just a basic drive movement, a series of wooden spools and a cord, uh, you could actually get a quite enjoyable uh, automation sequence on the top of the clock. So just another example of uh, how ingenious the Black Forest craftsmen were in the Black Forest of Germany and how they're able to take a very simple clock timepiece and end up making it much more. Which is very typical of the Black Forest craftsmanship. Uh, for more unique Black Forest clocks, if you have an interest in this stuff, uh, please check out our website which is blackforestclocks.org and on there you will find pages of clocks from our collection, an assortment of videos, and other interesting uh, facts about Black Force horology.